guys, I hope you enjoyed your weekend. I had a great time because I went and saw Pitch Perfect 2, and here's my review for you. Da -da 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 -da. I was a huge fan of the first Pitch Perfect movie. I didn't know much about it going in, so I had close to no expectations. I follow Elizabeth Banks on Twitter, so I knew that she was producing it and it had something to do with it. I knew it was about acapella. I love acapella. I always watch the sing-off when it comes on. Anyway, I loved the first movie, but for this second movie, I wanted to go in with really low expectations because I was worried if my expectations were too high, I was gonna be disappointed. So I went in with my low expectations, just hoping that I would be pleasantly surprised, and I was beyond pleasantly surprised. This sequel was really, really good. It was laugh out loud funny. Every few lines, I was laughing out loud. It might be funnier than the first. I don't know, it's hard for me to say because it's hard for me to remember my initial reactions to the first movie. I mean, I thought the first movie was hilarious and I loved it, but I can't really compare. It's at least as funny as the first movie, if not funnier. It's really well written. There are some great jokes, some really good one-liners. I feel like I need to go back and see the movie again soon because I'm sure I missed some of the jokes in them. Like there was one time I missed a joke and I looked at my husband and I was like, what did I just miss? I didn't even hear what he said and everyone's laughing. So I definitely missed more than a few jokes because it was non-stop. Joke, 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 joke. There were some great cameos. David Cross makes a hilarious cameo in this movie. Uh, some of the guys from the Green Bay Packers and they're really funny in it. The story is kind of over the top and ridiculous. Not that the first film story was very realistic, but this story goes even more over the top with how unrealistic it is. Uh, there might be a few spoilers here, but nothing crazy. Becca was less like too cool for school, which I liked. She's sort of just like, you know, she's a Bella and she's just accepted it. And these are her people now. Um, unlike the first movie where like she was just too cool for everything. And she and Jesse are still together and they're adorable. Jesse wasn't in this movie as much. I mean, he was in it for sure, but like, He's so adorable and sweet. I wanted more Jesse in this sequel. However, there was a good, um, a good storyline with Benji and a new girl that was adorable. And Benji's very sweet in this movie. Fat Amy has a great storyline in this one with Bumper and she's got some really great one-liners. Sometimes Rebel Wilson, if, you, if I see her in something and they let her sort of go too far wacky, I find it annoying, but Pitch Perfect 2, she is like the perfect amount. She's the perfect amount of wackiness, and the perfect amount of funny, and so she rounds out the cast really well in this sequel. The music is great in this sequel, but I think I liked the music better in the first. I think the first movie used really current songs for a few parts, and I really liked that, and the second movie relied mostly on some older, still hits, but like older songs, but it's still great. And um, the German team that the Bellas are like, you know, this little battle with the entire movie have some hilarious performances by God only knows who the actors are. Apparently the guy is a YouTube star and he had a huge role in this movie. So give it up for YouTube, making it on the big screen in a big way in a big movie. I highly, highly recommend going to see Pitch Perfect 2. If you have not seen the first movie yet, Get on it. It's enjoyable for everyone. My husband was re reluctant to watch the first movie because I don't think he trusted my review that it was really funny. And then he saw it and loved it. And the group of us that went and saw the movie this weekend, there were like 12 of us and half of them were guys and they all loved the sequel. So this is guys, girls, Pitch Perfect 2 across the board is really great. I would actually pay to go see it in the movie theater again before it's, uh, available on DVD, Blu-ray, and Netflix. Guys, uh, you should subscribe to my channel. I post videos Monday through Friday. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, guys. I got stuff going on. Check out my other videos. I'll put my favorites playlists up here so you can see what I'm all about, and I will see you guys tomorrow.